wow, that was bright. We even got a cut cutscene. Everybody's a bit blurry. There's a bit of cover. We're in the belly of the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. Um. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the Chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Okay, destroy the assassin sarcophagus. Even now you push ahead, XCOM, undaunted in your task, a fitting epitaph for your race. May you be remembered. So I'm gonna push everybody forwards. Aha. Okay. So there's definitely enemies over here as well. That was a priest. So why not just uh, start this off with a bang? 94% shots. Um, yeah. Hello. 8 damage. It's something at least. And that triggers also that... That's just a normal trooper, right? With a bit of armor. Yeah. Okay. So Kali has the least amount of ammo. So I should probably reload her if I get the chance. Um, I don't want to get too close. Because of course these guys are going to try... And take me out otherwise. Um, so let's, put Heidi, let's put Heidi on the left. She should have sight on that guy. Yeah, there we go. That is a shield bearer actually. Let's fire at him then. That was a miss. Heidi doesn't often miss. But that was definitely a miss. Um, let's see what we can do here then. Because we don't have that many options. Uh, I could do another Vault. Or I could just Rend them as well. Because Rend gives me an automatic parry. Uh, so let's Rend them by going over here. My strike surges forth. I did just say not to go too close, but uh, there we go. The max amount of damage, but he's they just not... Oh, he's actually disoriented. That's good. We don't trigger anybody else, so that means that we have a free shot at that guy. Uh, let's put Kelly over there. Sarah. Sarah might be able to get a shot at the priest, because he's not in that good cover. 79% on the shield barrier, which is pretty good. Ah, we miss. Obviously we miss. And she's out of ammo after that. 77 on the priest, 58 on the advanced shield bear. Um, I think I'm gonna use Elena shot on the advanced shield bear there as well to uh, finish him off at least. There we go. And we get a hair trigger. And does that reveal? Oh yeah, that was 80%. Okay, but now we have another shot at the advent priest. And that's another miss. That's not good, because now he can do whatever he wants. Moving over to the right. That's full cover, actually. Mind control. Mind control. Is it going to work? Uh, yes, it is. It definitely is. Otherwise, I would say resist it immediately. Sarah is mind controlled. That's not that much of a problem, because we have plenty of ways of reaching that priest over there. Not in the least with Lena. She can just go over to that side and just uh, rend them in the face. A righteous strike. I do wonder how that works. Because now he's going to go... He's going to go into stasis, but the mind control apparently... Ah, the mind control does go away. Because otherwise that would have been really, really annoying. Uh, I'm going to parry Lena as well, and then we can move forward. Let's reshadow Elena as well, but uh, then we can move forward. So everybody on Overwatch, that priest is going to wake up, but he's going to wake up to a very bad day. He wants to... yeah. Yeah, that would have been really impressive if you would hit that from the other side of the map with a shotgun, but... We have plenty more shots. There we go, that's one. Another mess. I'm basically wasting ammo at this time. And we're being flanked. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, stasis. Okay, never mind. That's okay. 
I don't mind. Put it in stasis. Do what you want. Okay, so let's just take out that priest with a quickie sword strike. Because, um, yeah, I don't want to waste any uh, valuable ammo on that thing. Come on, come on. In the middle there. In the middle there. There we go. Yes, I know you do, Lena. Why do you always want to yell about it? Just do it. There we go. Ram damage increased. So that gives us an extra focus. Back onto the max. And everybody else can just... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to parry, I think. Let's just put most of them on Overwatch. Especially Alessia on the back here. Uh, and slowly move a few of them a bit closer. I think I'm going to reload Heidi as well, because the shotgun is really valuable. And we still have a shared bond action there. But otherwise, see you guys when anything happens. There we go. I think we're close enough to basically see it, so I'm guessing uh, the assassin is going to come out. There we go. Last, a true battle. You have done well. Is she gonna get reinforcements? I'm assuming she will. All right, we faced these things before, and we can do it again. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. Agreed. Okay, how does she actually hear us? <laughs> she clearly reacted to us there. She's invisible. She's invisible. That's not good. I'm just gonna move around a few people. Absolutely. To see if we can spot her. Ah, there she is. Okay. How does she not see... I mean... Lena, Elena is right here. You know what? I think we might be able to take her out in one go here. Because she's... Really bad. <laughs> she's so stupid. Because now, this is going to remove that one armor she has. There we go. And she takes more damage because... Of course, she takes more damage from Reapers. So that was... Holy crap, that was half her health bar. And that's a reveal, but, 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 she's only in half cover, so that's not, not that smart of her. And we still have, you know, a double shotgun from height advantage. From height advantage? I think that's going to be height advantage, right? So if I put her on the running gun, get Heidi over here, that should be a flank shield, right? I think it should be. Yeah, definitely is. 100%, 68% critical as well, by the way. So uh, let's just blast away. Ooh, and she's burning as well. That's not good for you. Such bad news. What are we going to end it with? With a sniper rifle shot from across the map against the assassin? Let's just try that out. Come on. Come on, Alessia, finish this. There we go. I think we got it. Wait, where did she go? Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. Okay, so... Rapid healing and progress percentage completed 25, okay? I would have liked my, uh, my sniper rifle for that, but let's put Lena close as well. That seems reasonable. Uh, okay, I'm glad I'm glad you think that's reasonable. Let's just start firing away at this thing. Let it burn, burn, burn. The pyro fire. The pyro fire. We're just we're just firing at a big cube at the you moment. I think it would be that easy. What well, we did. They're flanking my position. There's a codex. But I'm assuming that thing won't get an extra action, right? I mean, that's not a good position for you. Ah, fuck. You know, Assassin, now that we're being honest, I was hoping it was going to be that easy. But clearly that's not going to be the case. Oh, they're right in the back, aren't they? What happens if we just kill the Assassin right now? Do we still need to kill these things? Um... God damn it. Alessia is really vulnerable vulnerable right there. Hmm. 
I think I should probably let her do more damage on the... Let's try that. You know what? Uh, I think Lena is even too far to... Oh, I could strike at the Codex. Okay, let's let's take it easy here. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I say take it easy, but I just keep... Where's Heidi? There we go. There we go. So let's put Heidi over here. I think she has basically the highest damage output with her shotgun. And that's 100%. If we crit, that should be a kill. There we go. Okay. That's good. That's good. That means that we can now use Lena for whatever I want. And I'm going to put uh, Heidi wide out in the open as well. Because she's going to be invulnerable. So if they want to attack somebody, I'm going to hope they're going to attack her instead. Now, Lena, can you amplify damage on... No. God damn it, you can't amplify damage on that thing. Okay. And I'm going to have to try and put Lena a little bit closer as well. I'm going to let it dash. Because that's basically the only thing I can do right now. Um, I do have a few people capable of getting in a nice position to fire at that officer, though. And I think Alessia should focus her fire on the, uh, on the tower. So let's do that. 10 to 13 damage. There we go. 10 damage. That does mean I can't move her anymore. Um, so I really need to kill the, the officer. Um, Sarah. Sarah can go over here, but that's not going to be a flank shot, is it? That's not going to be even anything. Whew. Okay, and I'm going to move her over here. That's going to give her an automatic um, overwatch shot when we end this. Uh, yeah, Elena can't do anything else but to do the same. Ooh, and Kelly is even worse off there. Uh, and I think Alessia might actually be... Yeah, Alessia might be in really big trouble now. Not a problem. So let's give Alessia some defense. Um... So 8 protocol for the extra 30 defense on Alessia. And then Lena is just gonna f Elena is just gonna fire at the uh, the obelisk. Blamo. Okay. Ah, we got more and more of these guys. Great. Great, a Spectre. A Spectre and what else? Because I'm guessing we're gonna get two. Two guys every time. Okay. This is gonna take a while. Yeah, because they keep spawning shit. And another codex. If the officer doesn't kill... Ah, oh, damn it. That's not good, is it? That's doubling up on the codex. And the officer now gets a better position. He's gonna mark... Kelly. Kelly is marked. But does that mean that the turn is done? I think it is, right? Okay. Now. Ooh, do I want to risk all of this? There's a lot I don't want to risk here. Let's start with the easiest thing. Uh, Elena can't do much else other than... Hmm. She doesn't actually do all that much damage. So if she can kill the... Uh, yeah, there we go. No compromises. She can kill the Codex over there. Her Alessia shots are pretty bad, but she can still fire at the Obelisk in the back. Let's do that. That's seven damage. How much does that thing have left? Because I feel like if I, if we can finish this off, seems like it needs three more shots. Um, I think I can keep the Spectre alive. So that means I still need to kill the officer. Let's try this. I need to pull uh, Kelly back anyway. So if I can pull her back like over here. She's pretty well protected. And I think she again gets the sight on the obelisk, yeah. So there we go, that's one shot. Eight damage. 
Okay. Then Heidi is Heidi is gonna have to make a choice here. Well, we're gonna have to make a choice. Um, I think we're gonna have to focus on the enemies one more time. Heidi can go to the tower. Uh, put it over here. This is really risky. I'm just banking everything on that this will end when the tower is done. That's 9 damage, so that means one more shot. The shot from Sarah. Oh, I got a free action. Okay, that's even better. So there we go. Obel is down. What happens now? I'm hoping that's a good thing. Yes, the regeneration process has been interrupted. Readings on the capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that Chosen with everything we've got. Target that Chosen? I mean, isn't he... Oh, crap. Um... Um... So, Lena... Can actually... Rent the Codex. She's gonna be in pretty good and a pretty good position afterwards, but let's just move it over there. Slash him. And that takes care of the codex. Now, already at maximum focus, I can parry. Sarah can't actually see anybody right now, which is interesting. Um I'm just gonna put Sarah right next to the Spectre, I think, because otherwise this, that thing is gonna be really annoying to deal with. Um, yeah, just like this. This is such a bad idea, but... There we go. Let's fire at the Spectre with a 100% chance. 11 damage. And there's the Assassin. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, he's firing at the lesser even. Oh my god! God damn it! It must pain me to lose another precious life. Fuck! When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal, mentally and damn it! Alessia died. That's our best sniper down. Okay. Damn it! I shouldn't have left her there. And that's a 4 damage shot on the uh, on Kelly. The wounds will quicken the march to death. I had not thought this possible. To fight another on equal footing. How exhilarating. For that, you have my gratitude. Okay. Um, this is problematic. So I have... Ah, oh, fuck. We haven't been lucky with anything lately. Let's fire with Elena at the Spectre, 71%. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So I could rend the officer. But then I need to be certain that the Spectre is dead as well. So let put, let's put Kelly over here. And have her shoot at the Spectre for 81%. There we go. Okay. Only the best. Then, uh, reload Heidi. We can't really do anything with her at the moment. So let's... Hmm. I have another bond to spare, but I think we should probably keep it for now. Let's just rend... Yeah, let's rend the officer. God damn it, I want to rotate the camera, but that's the same button. Uh, rend the officer like this, right in front of his face. And that, oh, that kills him. Okay, thank fucking God. Okay, we got a promotion on Lena as well. Kelly is no longer marked, so that's also good. Let's parry. And then Heidi is going to go into Overwatch. We don't know where the assassin is at the moment, by the way. She's apparently over there. Um, hi. But oh, we parry that. We parry that. I think she's down. She's going to be down right now. So she just spawns another priest, which is not too bad. And we get uh, an Overwatch shot from Sarah. Sarah is gone and berserk, by the way. That's also something new. 
Apparently she goes into Berserk when a bond mate dies. And the assassin keeps going further. Okay. Berserk removed. Death is on the line, and a warrior is truly tested. My resolve remains unwavering. My purpose absolute. Yeah, lady, I don't really care about all of that. I'm just gonna kill you now, because you just caused one of my favorite soldiers to die. Alessia is dead. Luckily, we have a, a few extra sharpshooters, but uh, Heidi, would you please run and gun over there? And then just blast this thing in the face, because um, does yeah, we st we still have a shot. We still have a shot with uh, with Elena, so let's put it over here, because she has shredding, so we can remove that little bit of armor she still has left, like this. There we go, 12 damage and a shred. Yeah, be mad at everything you want to, but uh, I think this might actually be your end. Because, uh, there we go. We got a trophy for that. Goodbye, assassin. What happens to the priest? Does that keep going? It wasn't going? easy, but we managed to pull it off, commander. If only we could see the look on the elder's faces. This was way tougher, tougher than I expected. And is that just going to explode now or what? Okay, we get another cutscene. Um, uh, she was dead, right? You have thought well, XCOM. May you reclaim this world for your own. Oh, wow. She just commits suicide. Or Seppuku? Damn it! That's too bad that Alessia died in the end there. And there we go, with our heads hanging low, even though we succeeded, we lost one of our Valkyries. We know for sure now that the Alessia's can dead. Taken out permanently. I was starting to worry we might never hear the last of them. There we go. We did get three promotions and three big promotions. But first, we can't forget 10 missions, 37 kills. Alessia Sella, you will be missed. You will be missed. Immortal in our hearts. Definitely. That was... Damn. That was too bad that we lost Alessia. But the assassin is dead. Two more chosen remain, but the assassin is dead. I don't know what happens now with Sarah. She seems to have another bond available, but it's all with people that already have a bond. So I'm just going to keep it at that. Then we have Elena has a promotion. She has 20 ability points and the three new skills are Sting, Fire a Shot while in Shadow, Guarantee to remain in Shadow. Soul Harvest, Kill Shot increases crit chance by 5 to a maximum of 20, that's not that good. Or Squad Sight, you can target enemies within Squad Mate's Sight provided there is a line of sight to the target. Not that interesting, so I think it's one that I wanted to have for a while. Any unit seen by the Reaper remains permanently visible. That's going to be the one that I'm going to take for now. I'm going to see later on if there's anything more interesting. But for now, um, it doesn't seem like it uh, has anything more interesting. Because um, the rest, yeah, I don't really feel like it's going to be that useful. So we'll see with her uh, major and colonel uh, abilities what that's going to be. Because right now the ability... Ooh, the squad side actually costs 25 points for some reason. But Kelly. Kelly also got a promotion, uh, and I think we're gonna go for Ever Vigilant again. Because um, hitting a successful Overwatch shot is still not that good, I think. Although. You know what? I'll try it. I'll try Kelly with Guardian. We'll see how that works out. And then our final one is one that I'm really looking forward to Lena. Because she's basically our most uh, versatile unit, I believe. Um. Hmm. I could go into deflect and then reflect, but that's not that interesting, I think. Um, we have arc wave. Rend generates a wave of psionic energy in the direction of the attack. Damage increases with focus level. What? Uh, definitely taking that. Uh, exchange. Exchange locations with a squad mate. Cause a focus. And fortress. The Templar is immune to fire, poison, acid and explosive damage. And explosive damage. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take Fortress and Arcwave. Uh, cause that's just ridiculous. Ah, oh, yep, there we go, two XCOM mobility points. I don't give a flip. So, yeah, she's basically an unstoppable force right now. And with that arc wave, I want to see that in action. That's going to be really, really awesome. Could even go for deflect. Um, but, uh, hmm. Lightning hats. Although that aftershock, I've been using Volt as our main attack if we don't do rent. So aftershock is going to be handy as well. There we go. And yeah, then she has four more abilities when she hits Colonel. So, uh, looking forward to that, but yeah, there we go, that's that, everybody's tired as well, of course, knackered after such a long uh, mission. Two Codex Brains, the Assassin's Arashi, the chosen Assassin's failsafe weapon in close quarters, it is no less dangerous than her sword, and a katana. Ooh, we can use that, advanced repeater and a hair trigger, and the corpses of uh, a few of those, only the units that were left in that uh, final mission apparently. The Chosen Assassin proved deadly with both her sword and a shotgun and both will no doubt be valuable to our efforts. However, I believe the sword conceivably forged by the Elder's own hands to be the true asset here. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen her use her shotgun in the like three times we faced her. But there we go. That's that. Lena is shaken. She needs rest. I'm definitely gonna give her that rest. She definitely deserves all of that. Um, and otherwise... Uh, I think I'm gonna stop the episode here already. The reason for that is that this episode has been going on for quite some time already. Uh, and I don't want to bore you with the uh, management stuff just yet. So next episode we'll start with that. Uh, and we'll see what we can do at the beginning of that episode. So now that guys has shut up, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our first episode where we killed one of the Chosen. And uh, next time we're going to do some base management and go on to our next objective, which is going to be one random mission, I suppose. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.